Everybody said, invest in real estate, you can't lose. <laughs> In 2008, Colin Coots handed over $110,000 to a company that promised big returns on a real estate development project near Prittis, Alberta. For the first year and a half, two years, we were getting our returns monthly. So I thought, okay, this is still legit. According to the company who owns the project, the recession caused the market to bottom out, stalling the projects and the payouts. I got all these calls and all these emails saying that uh, we're in trouble, you know, give us time, we're restructuring, we're doing this, we're doing that. There's about 20 different companies across Alberta that are all in the same position that they raised a lot of money and they don't quite put it to work in a, in a good business plan. Larry Elford runs a program called the Alberta Investors Protection Group. He says it's a loophole in Alberta law that allows projects like this to move forward. This is the unregulated exempt market uh, and regulators turn a blind eye to this particular market so you're very much on your own and anybody can sell you anything and that's what's happened to the tune of about two billion dollars in Alberta right now. And according to Elford, Southern Alberta has become a hot spot for these kind of projects. We've become the, uh, you know, we've become the Disneyland of financial fraud or victim abuses by investment salespeople. It took a little while to sink in and say, okay, I got screwed. Coots believes the recession in 2008 did have something to do with a stalled project, but that is little comfort to a man who's lost hope of getting back the $110,000 worth of retirement savings he invested. Cheryl Oates, Global News.